The people of Burma have suffered nearly half a century of conflict and isolation. But Aung San Suu Kyi is not alone. People all around the world are standing with her and the Burmese people. And we say to the generals, now is the time for transition to democracy, starting with the release of Aung San Suu Kyi. There's no doubt that the Aung San Suu Kyi has committed a cover up of the truth by her failure to report an illegal immigrant to the authorities concerned. Thus, there was no option but to open legal proceedings in accordance with the law. Countries should refrain from interfering in the internal affairs of Myanmar that will affect peace and security of the region. Thus, the, the legal action against the Aung San Suu Kyi is merely an internal affairs of Myanmar. Operations in Sawat, Buner, and adjoining areas have almost met complete success. Only 5 to 10 percent job is remaining, and hopefully within the next two to three days, these pockets of resistance will be cleared, and thereafter, the reconstruction work will start in order to enable the IDPs to come back to their own uh, areas. Our people are wary of war, yet they are resilient and want to get on with their lives. Therefore, the post-conflict period will focus on rehabilitation, resettlement, economic development, up and holding free and fair elections. Those transmitted unsubstantiated allegations against the military claimed heavy weapons in civilian areas being used in order to buttress the propaganda of genocide against the Tamil people. This was both fictional and well fabricated with ulterior and sinister motives in order to discredit the armed forces as well as to embarrass the government of Sri Lanka. We share the calls for the international community to respond to yet more provocative acts from North Korea with one voice, to a regime which is acting against the interests of the international community, against the interests of the region, and indeed against the interests of its own people. Australia's alliance with the United States is without doubt our most important defence relationship. The strength of our alliance enables us to enhance cooperation in many ways to the benefit of the region. A good practical example of this is our current exploration of a combined humanitarian assistance and disaster relief capability.